Ngayon, we have to divide both sides, both members of the equation by the coefficient of x. Okay, so this is our topic, solving problems involving linear equations. So in solving problems involving linear equations, there are steps to follow. Number one, read and understand the problem carefully. Kailangan nating basahin at intindihin ng maayos o ng maigi ang problema. Okay? Number two, represent the unknowns using variables. Okay? We have to assign x or any variable sa mga unknowns. Okay? We can use x, we can use y or any variable. Number three, formulate an equation. Okay? I-formulate natin yung equation galing dun sa ating uh, problem. Okay? So, number four, of course, we have to solve the formulated equation. And number five, you have to check or justify your answer. Okay? So, let's start. Okay? So, we have a number relation problem. Okay? The sum of two numbers is 36. If the second number is four more than thrice the first, find the numbers. Okay? So, kung mabasahin natin itong maigi o itindihin natin ito, meron nung dalawang uh, numbers na yung sum nila is 36. Okay? Then, the second number is 4 more than thrice the first. Sabihin ng more than, addition yan. Okay? So, we will find the numbers. Take note, meron tayong dalawang numbers na hanapin dito. Okay, the first number is we have x. Ito talaga si x. Okay, let x be the first number. Okay, yan talaga si x, the first number. Okay, then the second number is 4 more than thrice the first. Okay, so thrice daw, thrice the first number, this, then more than. Okay, okay, 4 more than thrice the first. So ito yung pag-translate niyan. Okay, ito yung pag-translate niya. Then, uh, we all know that the sum of two numbers is 36. Okay. So, gagawa na tayo ng uh, equation. So, yung equation natin dito, kasi i-add natin yan, kasi sum yan, di ba? So, ito yung first number, si x, plus the second number. Okay? 3x plus 4. Ito yung second number, di ba? Ito yung first, ito yung second, ito yung second number. Okay, second number. Nakalimutan ko lang inagay. Equals, ano yung equals natin dito? 36. Okay, equals 36. Kasi, the sum of two numbers is 36. Ito yung two numbers. Ito yung first. Ito yung second. That is 36. Bakit 3x plus 4? Kasi ito yung sinasabi sa second number. If the second number is 4 more than thrice the first. So, ito yung ibig sabihin niya. Okay? Ngayon, isi-solve na natin yan. Okay? How to solve? So, ang gagawin na natin dito is we have to combine like terms. Si x plus 3x plus 4 equals 36. Ayan. Okay? And then, i-add natin si x at saka si 3x. So, magiging 4x plus 4 equals 36. Ayan. Okay? So, ang sunod natin dito, we have to apply the subtraction property of equality or addition property of equality. Okay? So, apply natin yan. Ito sa taas, ha? So, 4x plus 4, mag-add tayo ng negative 4 dito sa left member of the equation dito din sa right si 36 mag-add din tayo ng negative 4 sa left ito yung uh, dinidiscuss natin dati di ba? kung nag-add nag -add ka dito ng negative 4 sa left mag-add ka rin dito ng negative 4 sa right okay so next si 4x 
si positive 4 plus negative 4, that is 0 na yan. Diba? So, equals, okay, so 36 plus negative 4, that is 32. Okay, or 36 minus 4 na lang para hindi kayo malito. So, 36 minus 4, that is 32. Ngayon, we have to divide both sides, both members of the equation by the coefficient of x. Okay, so 4x equals 32, di ba? I-divide natin yan, both sides, by the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is 4. Oh. <laughs> I-divide mo yan, 4. Ito talaga si sir. Ayan. Tapos, i-cancel uh, natin yan si 4. Ang naiwan, si x na lang. Ay, dyan na naman si x. Ito na si x na hinahanap natin. So, 32 divided by 4, that is 8. So, this is the first number. Okay. So, yung, ito yung first number. Ito yung si x na first number. Yung second number natin, na si 3x plus 4. So, 3 times... 8 plus 4 that is 24 plus 4 that is 28 so this is the second number okay so isus i-check natin to i-check natin to okay. dito na tayo sa checking so again yung x natin kanina yung first number natin is equal to 8 so pag checking natin we have to use the original equation kung ano yung nagawa natin na equation kanina so, the x plus the quantity of 3x plus 4, okay, equals 36. This is the first number, this is the second number, and this is the sum of the two numbers, okay? So, we have to substitute the value of x. So, yung value ng x is 8. Ito yung first number. 8 plus, so 3x, so 3 times the value of x na 8, okay? plus 4 ayan equals 36 ok, ngayon 8 plus, isimplify muna natin yung nasa loob 3 times 8 that is 24 ok, 24 plus 4 equals 36 and then 8 dito yung first number at saka yung second number na 24 plus 4 is 28 equals 36. Yung sum ng dalawang number na hinahanap natin that is 36 that equals 36. Meaning to say, yung solution natin is correct. Let's go to our next problem, the number problem. Find 5 consecutive add integers whose sum is 55. Okay, ibig sabihin ng consecutive, yung sunod-sunod. Okay? Tapos limang sun nagkasunod-sunod na add integers. If you say add integers, yung mga 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, etc. etc. Okay. So, we have to find the 5 consecutive add integers. Na yung sum nilang lima ay 55. Okay, so we have to let x ito yung first odd integer or odd, in, odd numbers or odd number. Okay? Ito yung first tapos x plus 2 ito yung second. Okay? Okay. Then x plus 4 Ito yung third Add integer Okay Then x plus 6 Fourth Okay Ayan Then x plus 8 Fifth Add integer Okay Ito yung given natin Ngayon gagawa tayo ng Equation so, Paano yung gawa ng, ng equation? So, of course, unahin natin yan si x. Kita pa ba? Talaga ito si x plus x plus 2. 
Pwede na hindi natin i-close and open yan. Tapos, next, x plus 4. Tapos, x plus 6. Plus, x plus 6. Tapos, uh, plus, x plus 8. Equals. Ang total nilang lahat is 55. Nagay mo dyan. Ayan. Iwa pa. So, ngayon, we have to combine like terms or similar terms. Wala na bang ibang terms dyan eh. X lang. Okay? So, bibilangin lahat. Bibilangin natin lahat kung ilan yung X. <laughs> Talaga ito si X. Ha? Di, 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 wakil limutan si X. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, meron tayong limang X. Ayan, ang dami ha. <laughs> okay, then plus. Ayan. So, itutal naman natin ito lahat. 2 plus 4, that is 6, plus 6, 6, uh, 12, that plus 8, 20. Okay, plus 20 equals 55. Ayan. So, ilagay natin sa taas, guys. Ha? So, guys, okay. So, ang next natin na uh, gagawin dito, we have to apply the addition property of equality. Okay, mag-add naman tayo sa left member of the equation by negative 20. So, 5x plus 20 plus mag-add tayo dito ng negative 20 sa left member of the equation. Dito rin kay 55, mag-add din tayo ng negative 20 sa right. Okay. Then, 5x, i-cancel natin yung kasi 0 na yan eh. Okay? Then, equals si 55 minus 20 that is 35. Ayan. Okay? Ngayon, we have to apply the division property of equality. Mag-divide tayo dito sa left member of the equation. Mag-divide din tayo dito sa right member of the equation. Okay? So, kopyahin ko lang muna ha. 5x equals 35. Mag-divide tayo dito ng 5. Saan galing si 5? Dito sa coefficient of x na 5. Okay? Kung ano yung coefficient na x, yun din ang i-divide mo. Then, dito din sa right member, i-divide mo rin yan ng 5. So, i-cancel na natin yung 5 Kasi 5 divided by 5 is 1 Ang naiwan, x na lang Okay? x equals 35 divided by 5 That is 7 So, this is the first Add integer C7 So, we have to check our solution Check natin yung uh, solution natin na uh, x is 7 Yung first integer natin so, check natin yan. Of course, we have to substitute the value of x na 7. So, first, add integer is 7. Plus 7 plus 2. Plus 7 plus 4. Plus 7 plus 6. Plus 7 plus 8 equals 55. Dapat 55 yung total natin dyan. So, 7 plus 11. Ay, nusa ba? <laughs> Advance. 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 equals 55. Ito yung limang add integers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Diba yung problem natin kanina? 5 consecutive add integers. Ito na yun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dapat yung total ng limang add integers is 55. Total natin yan. Pwede natin isa-isahin. Okay? So, 7 plus 9 is 16. Plus 11. Plus 11. No, ano, di na kung mong kabalo. 27 plus 13. Ah, dito, 28. Plus 28. So, 15. Okay, 55. So, yung total nila is 55. 